In today's video we'll be easily replacing the poopy default Android menu with the always or just once option, with this poopy Simpsons arcade one that I made on the fly. This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. Before we move forward, I'd like to thank a few fellow YouTubers, the first is Art Cade3912, who has helped show me a great deal of information and helped me bring it to you, also, Avalix V, who has a great channel with a selection of do-it-yourself videos, regarding editing your menus on various cabs, that you really need to check out, and finally, Sketch Mods Things, who by far has the sickest live wallpapers, that I've ever seen. Please make sure you check out the channels, make sure you sub them to show your support, or leave them a like or two. You can find all of their information in my description. For today's video we'll be assuming that you have the TMNT Plus mod installed, and that you have an SD card that's being formatted by your arcade cabinet. If you don't have the mod installed, or your SD card formatted by the cab, then please find the link to that video in the description, and above. You're going to be needing the following hardware, an SD card, and our wireless keyboard. We'll also be needing a few items of software. Please check my description for a link to the needed software files. In short, we'll need a cool piece of software called Nova Launcher for our build, and we'll need two image files. One is a simple transparent image that we'll use to hide our icons, and the other is the wallpaper that we'll add as our background. In reality we'll simply be adding a background wallpaper and two transparent icons for each game, and we'll be using a program called Nova Launcher to manage everything. Place your formatted SD card into your computer, and head over to find the link in the description, then download the zipped file named, Simpsons, TMNT Plus Wall. After you've downloaded the file you'll need to use a zip utility to open it. Please feel free to use any zip utility that you'd like. I recommend 7-zip. Once the zip file is open please extract the folder to any area that you'd like, then simply copy the two APK files, and the two PNG files over to the root of your formatted SD card. Now that you have all the files that we need, let's head back to our Simpsons cabinet and plug in our Logitech wireless keyboard mouse combo, and insert our SD card and start the simple and easy process of building our menu. As we've done before in the past we'll need to press the Windows key, and we'll need to hit the N key at the same time. Doing so will bring up a systems menu, and we'll need to expand that menu, and hit the setting icon in the bottom right hand side. Once done navigate to the storage icon and enter the SD card storage area. If you've not done so, and you place the TMNT plus APK on your SD card then you can install it now. If you've already installed that's fine also. Regardless you will need it installed before you add this new menu. Next we'll highlight both of our image files and tell the system that we'd like to copy the files. The system will then need to know where to copy the files to. We'll inform the system that we need to head to the internal storage, and we'll place out files in the pictures folder. This should make them easy to find in our next steps. Next we need to install Nova. This is the program that will basically be managing the wallpaper and the icons that we'll be using. Installing Nova shouldn't take very long at all. Once it's installed we'll need to open the app and do a few minor configures to the settings. When Nova runs for the first time the app will prompt you to confirm its permissions, and it will then take us to a configure menu. This is going to make me sound slow, but it took me a minute to figure out that I needed to grab the menu with the mouse and move it up to gain access to the menu options. Once you've figured it out make sure you head all the way to the bottom as we need to deselect weather and date, and we will need to change the dock setting to none. We'll now need to hit the Windows key, and the N key at the same time, and re-enter the systems menu. Once in the systems menu, we'll need to navigate to the apps and notifications icon, and tell the system that when it starts it needs to run the Nova launcher. To do this scroll to the bottom and click on the home app, 
as you can see mine says none. Yours may be different. We now have three options, and Nova 7 is the one we'll be selecting, and if you've done this right so far you should also have TMNT Plus and 1UP. Again make sure you've selected Nova 7. We now have two icons that need removed, the first is the gallery icon. Simply click on the icon and hold it down for a second. You'll then get a menu, all you have to do is click remove. Please do this with both the gallery icon and the Nova settings icon. We'll now click anywhere on the screen and hold it down. Once we do this, a menu will pop up and we'll need to set our wallpaper. At this time please select the wallpaper that we saved in the pictures folder. You should also see the transparent image that we'll use as our icon image. Make sure, not to forget, to click on set wallpaper at the top left hand corner. We now need to set an activity. What this means is we'll be setting up our icons. First we'll need to click on the activity icon and drag it into place, and then drop it. After we've done that we'll be asked what this activity does. We're going to place this first activity on the Simpsons side, and pick the 1UP app. Now we need to do the same thing for the Turtles side. Click and drag your action icon to the Turtles side of the wallpaper and drop it into place. Once the activity has been dropped, you will again be prompted for what this activity does. This time we need to navigate down to the T's and select our TMNT Plus file. This simple action tells the system that when we activate an action the corresponding app to that action will launch, letting us enjoy our game. Our last step will be editing our icon so that it is transparent and lets us see our wallpaper. We do this by clicking and holding our icon down. This action opens a menu and we'll need to select the edit option. After the edit option has been selected, the edit interface will pop up and we'll need to remove the name of the app and we'll need to select a picture to use as an icon. This is where the transparent image we saved on our SD card comes into play. We'll need to then navigate to the pictures folder and select the transparent image to use and click done. Then simply deselect the resize option under the icon setting. Be sure to do this on both sides, and when you're done, you'll have an easy to use menu, and you'll never have to worry about the just once, or the always launching options, of the default menu again. In conclusion, I believe this is the simplest way to add these games, and give yourself an easy to use interface for game selection, the only thing that isn't ideal is exiting out of a game and back to the wallpaper. I'm sure there are better ways to do this, and I encourage you to check out all the YouTubers we spoke of, as they have tons of great tricks to share. Now, I think it's time for a short demo. I'd like to thank you for checking out this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. It really helps the channel grow.